Hello, I'm Fatih Yunar from Chennai Kalamun Sigmat University. Today I'm going to present you our paper about introducing sustainable and innovative materials to construction industry, lessons learned from a research project. Before I will start my presentation, I want to also show you my presentation. This paper was about steel making slag and it's accepted as a byproduct in especially European countries and North America. Steel making slag is a sustainable and innovative material for road construction because it is a best of steel industry. Turkey has the potential of 5.5 million tons per year and Turkey is also the eighth biggest uh, steel producer in the world. Technical and legal aspects should be tailored to fit current legislation in order to use this innovative material in road construction in our country. A research project titled Utilization of Steel Slag in Highway Construction and its Performance and Regulations Proposal has been conducted with the General Directorate of Highways in Turkey. This study aims to summarize the research process with a focus on face drivers and barriers to adapt such an innovative material for highway construction in the context of project management as a case study. We have some results from the liter literature. I want to give you as advantage of steel slag and disadvantage of steel slag. The advantage, roughness characteristics of the road surface could be maintained for longer period, periods by the use of steel slag. Martial stability, resilient modulus, tensile strength, resistance to moisture damage and resistance to permanent deformation could be enhanced by using steel slag. But there is also some disadvantage. disadvantage. One of them was volume instability. Uh, as, we, as I noted here, volume stability is a key criterion for using steel slag as a construction material due to free calcium oxide and magnesium oxide content. And the second disadvantage of steel slag is a high uh, heavy metal concentration of steel slag. The use of steel slag in environmental applications were found to not pose a hazard in most situations to health of people or the ecology according to reviewed studies. <clears throat> and uh, I want to speak about the research organization. Cholokolu Metallurgy started a project to define the utilization probabilities of steel slag in November 2011 by Technobi Academic Firm. Technobi Academic Firm directed the investigation of technical properties of steel slag to Istanbul Technical University Faculty of Civil Engineering. Uh, in laboratories of Faculty of Civil Engineering, it's tested as a road aggregate and all the standard tests were specified in highway technical specifications 2013. According to sufficient results obtained from the tests, a research meeting conducted with the participation of General Directorate of Highways, Chalokol Metallurgy, Technobi and Istanbul Technical University in 2011 to start a nationwide study and format existing regulations. Project with the name of utilization of electric arc furnace steel slag in highway construction, its performance and regulation proposal, which was the first name of our project, proposed to General Directorate of Highways within the topic of recycling, which is declared between the research and development projects. Uh, projects present to uh, General Directorate of Highways in 2011, participation of Turkish Steel Producers Association has been advised by General Directorate of Highways to produce a national effect and the project is revised with participation of Turkish Steel Producers Association. All the steel producers contribution including integrated steel plants is enabled. Positive feedback is obtained from 20 steel producers nationwide. Uh, in these dates, I think we have 30 steel producers in nationwide and 20 of them is, uh, give a positive feedback to our project. 
Project name is also revised as utilization of steel slag in highway construction, its performance and regulation proposal because of the uh, including the integrated steel plants and signed it on 8th of April 2013. <clears throat> These are our materials to produce asphalt. As you can see at the left side, the steel slag, which is a pros and gray or dark gray. <clears throat> it's a dark gray color. And the right side, you can see the bitumen, which was general. <clears throat> binding material for conventional asphalt mixes. Uh, if we would talk about the steel slag, it is a heat-treated artificial aggregate and it's generally dark in color or light gray. It has a pro structure. It has a high unit weight hard and wear resistant material and also ha has a high internal friction angle. Uh, after the beginning of the project, the test period has started. In the test period, first of all, the components of steel slag and natural aggregate are investigated by X-ray diffraction methods. Unit weight, water absorption, organic material content, atabaric limits, metal and blue, clay lamps, and friable particles, flakeness index, soundness of aggregates with sodium sulfate, resistance to degradation, polishing resistance, and stripping resistance tests are conducted. These tests also are given, are presented in high, uh, Highway Technical Specifications 2013 for conventional aggregates. Ecological analysis of steel slag is investigated from elevate and original material according to national solid waste disposal specifications. Granular layers are examined and mixed also according to highway technical specifications 2013 granulometry limits. Sample with the highest maximum dry density is chosen for the potential expansion of aggregates from hydration tests for the worst scenario case. Optimum binder contents are determined by both experimental approach in which maximum theoretical weight is measured and conventional approach in which maximum theoretical weight is calculated. Uh, maximum theoretical weight is generally calculated in conventional mixed design. And uh, in this project, we have proposed a new mixing design for asphalt pavements in which the maximum theoretical weight should be measured. Test rows are constructed in two sites. These sites are selected according to different climates. As you can see at the left, Saka is Northern Anatolia region and Hatay this is the second test road in the southern part of Turkey. And from the experimental period and also the test roads, we have some drawbacks and these are noted as you can see here. Pro structure caused by water spray cooling methods, which uh, affects the water absorption value of steel slag. And the water absorption value is generally higher than the conventional aggregate. Volume instability of steel slag, heavy metal concentration of steel slag, <clears throat> time consuming experimental design approach, low mixing temperature, measurement of maximum theoretical weight, relatively worse results obtained from test rows compared to laboratory test results. And according to these drawbacks, there ha we have some solutions that is proposed to General Directorate of Highways and also the Turkish Steel Producers Association. Higher water absorption limit should be specified for steel slag aggregate, six month obligatory weathering period. Expansion limit of steel slag is uh, presented as 0.5% and 3.5% for, for different standards. Adoption of experimental design approach, extension of design period for steel slag asphalt and construction of new test roads. 
Uh, and according to these proposed solutions, we have some results and at the least I will give you the conclusions about our project. Adoption of new water absorption value is specified as a tolerable alteration for aggregates that will be used for unbound granular layers, which is uh, in unbound granular layers is used in uh, highway construction as a base and sub base materials. However, it's indicated that for hot mix asphalt aggregates, especially for bearing cores and binder and uh, stone mix, stone mastic asphalt, consideration of design procedure and mix performance is required. ASTM D4792 and EN1744 standards are adopted to measure the volume expansion of steel slag, respectively 0.5% and 3.5% accepted. To decrease the expansion rate of steel slag, six-month obligatory wetting period is accepted both by General Directorate of Highways and Turkish Steel Producers Association as the producer's representative. After six-month obligatory pe wetting period, heavy metal concentration of steel slag is considered as low risk and before hauling of the material from producer's stock at construction site, it is accepted that environmental analysis must be repeated. Despite sufficient test results from laboratory works, time-consuming experimental design approach is not approved by General Directorate of Highways. Long design period and adopting a new procedure accepted as a demanding challenge. Construction of new test roads and new tests are not accepted both by General Directorate of Highways and Turkish Steel Producers Association proposed schedule of project and financial support was over. In conclusion, steel slag is defined as an artificial aggregate for unbound granular layers, which is used as base and sub-base material in highway construction. And legislation appendix is published in 2017. Thank you for your interests. Any questions? Obrigado.